was born to live the life that'll supersede me. I dream it, but I know they probably ain't believe me. Destined for these shoes, been for all these foreigns. Bottle at the bottle, this the life, so keep pouring. I grind for this forever. All right, welcome to Dream Movers Podcast, guys. Uh, we're here with the host and the creator of the podcast, Terry Wilson, uh, aka my dad. All right, how you doing this morning? I'm good, man. How about yourself? Good, good, good. All right, let's get into the first question. Um, so, what's the purpose of the Dream Movers Podcast? Um, the purpose is well, the purpose was born out of necessity. Um, I've been able to work in mini- youth ministry for the last ten years, and I've met some incredible teens who have um, come into the ministry with such hopes of a big future. They have all the talent in the world. They have all the the hope and the the fight to go get it, but they don't have a blueprint. And sometimes, and I've seen that there have been times when kids have left high school and they they hit the world with with that, that, that vibrance to go get their dreams, but life hits and overwhelms them. So I've unfortunately seen a lot of the kids I've helped mentor haven't been able to accomplish their dreams or their dreams are put on the back burner completely because school hits and bills hit and society's um, norms hit where they are forced that they have to look like this, dress like this, talk like this, have this in order to be considered somebody. And that can be a lot of pressure on, a, on a, anybody on the team, especially. So it was born out of necessity. It was, it was the purpose of it is to bring, to lay a roadmap for teens and young adults who are chasing their dreams. So what we want to do is basically bridge dreamers with achievers. So the the dreamers can have someone to look up to that will say, hey, this is how I did it. I've had trials and tribulations. I've made mistakes. I've fallen and I've gotten back up. Um, I may have given up for a second, but I got back on it and I made it happen. So it gives them a roadmap and hopefully inspires them to keep pushing. And what impact do you want to have with the podcast? The impact is to change lives. Um, we all we all start off with big dreams and most of us end up doing completely opposite of what we want to do, what we dream of doing as kids. Um, so the impact is to change lives. The impact is to show that your dreams can be accomplished. There just has to be some changes in the way we approach it. We have to be more disciplined. We have to be more diligent. We have to be more focused. And we can't allow the things of the world to come into our space and kind of change the way we're going. So every party, we can't go to it in college. We can't hang out with our friends. There, there are sacrifices that must be made in order to achieve dreams. Um, for those, and with chasing your dream, it, it exposes a lot of the real in your life. So if I'm chasing my dream and I can't spend a lot of time with you um, in this season, um, someone who really understands and really supports you, they understand that. They can say, you know what? I understand what you're doing. I'm a back back. I'm going to let you do your thing, but I'm here for you. Um, it also exposes who you are. It takes a lot of strength to accomplish your dream. It's, it, life is hard regardless. Life is going to be hard whether you choose to chase your dream or you choose not to. Either way it go, you're going to have the stress and the pressures of life. My thought process is what if, if I just choose the right way and deal with those stresses and those pressures for this season, I can live the dream, my dream life for the rest of my life. So it, it, it's a choice. You have to make a decision on which pressures are you going to accept and which pressures pay off in the end. I believe that the pressures of chasing your dream pays off bigger than allowing it to fizzle away and just deal with the pressures of life. So the purpose is to just truly, truly um, change lives. And why do you think it's so important for the dreamers to become achievers? Peace. I think when you live your dream life, you have a sense of peace that people who aren't may not have and what I mean by I'm not it's there are some people who are doing something today that they didn't think they would be doing when they were a kid Um, that's fine I'm not I'm not specifically talking about a career 
I'm talking about you creating a life for yourself or your and your family um, that has purpose. For me and what I teach being in youth ministry, I believe that purpose centers around God. So I believe it's what God has created for you to do. Um, no matter what it is, whatever platform he gives you, he can you can use that to glorify him. And that brings a sense of peace um, that comes from being you can be a janitor to a to a multi-billionaire businessman, whatever it is, that can bring you peace because you understand that I'm living out in purpose. I believe whatever God has for you to do is that sense of purpose that gives you peace. Um, whatever it is from a janitor to a multi-billionaire businessman. So bridging, so dreamers, dreamers becoming achievers um, just positions you to have peace. It positions you to have a success that you don't, that the world cannot define for you. The world, anytime the world defines who you are, what you should do or how you should do it, the world can take it away from you. So the world will build you up. You'll feel like you're on top of the top of the mountain. Then the world will kick the mountain from under you. And now you're on your face and you're left alone. When what we truly want is if you do it, in my opinion, if you do what God has called you to do, the world can't take it away from you. And you have an everlasting peace. Not saying that it won't be hard. Not saying you won't have challenges. Not saying that you won't make mistakes and fall. But it gives you the strength to get back up, no matter what that job is, no matter what that um, that that position is that he gives you. It it's his, and he won't take it from you because he's preparing you for that. Okay. So, uh, speaking of jobs, what do you think this job, your job, the the podcast, the host? What do you think the opportunities? What kind of opportunities will come from this? My my hope is we continue to build a full production. Um, company where we're able to provide more content not just the podcast but um, TV shows um, movies radio um, shows that continue to spread the positivity continue to um, inspire and push dreamers to become achievers and with that with the, we will counteract everything the world throws at us will counteract with what God has for us and that positivity. Um, a lot of times when we're living this life, negativity is so easy to, to come at us and it can saturate us. And once that negativity saturates us, it's hard to get out of that hole. Um, so what I hope and what we're working towards with Dream Movers podcast and the opportunities that come from it is to counteract that negativity with positivity, inspire people to get, get a, to continue to get up and move, inspire people to chase their dreams, to overcome all the challenges that may be in the world that come that will come against them, and let them and let them know that hey, you can still live an incredible life, um, starting with the inside, having peace and joy and happiness, and then go get the money. Okay. Um, so it sounds like you're speaking from experience as far as the obstacles mm -hmm. and, um, you know, the negativity and saturation from that. What obstacles have you had to go through to get to this point? Well, I, I was the longtime dreamer. Um, I felt I dealt with depression um, early on in my life, um, not with having so many opportunities and not following through on them. Um, and, it, and it put me in a state of depression and fighting through that. Now, I fought through it because my faith in God, I just drew closer to God and he brought me into, a, uh, into ministry. Um, so I'm actually living my dream now and the podcast is just a, a platform to, to, do my, to do my ministry. Um, but for me, it was dealing with depression, not sure, I, being afraid of the unknown, not sure how my life would turn out and, and it looking opposite from what I wanted it to look like at a certain age. So I understand exactly how the long term, the long term dreamers feel when you've, you've been dreaming this dream since you was 13, 14 years old to be some, a certain thing or become a certain person and it doesn't manifest at a certain time. It can be it can be daunting. It can be overwhelming. It can be terrifying. It can be scary. Um, and you can feel like you're, you're a failure. And that's what I dealt with a long time. But, you know, with my faith in God, my support in my family and friends, I got I got back up and realized that I have so much more to give. It's not about what I thought I was going to do. It's about what God has called me to do. So now I'm you know, I'm I consider myself an achiever. I know I have a lot more to go, but part of my achievement is bringing my 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 children along you and your brothers and sister um and bringing everyone that God sends me to along to inspire them to instill in them 
it's not over. Yeah. You have so much more work to do. It doesn't matter what you failed at. It doesn't matter what you've lost. It doesn't matter what mistakes you've made. If you wake up in the morning, you have a chance to change it, period. You just have to change your mindset. We cannot allow our minds to stay in the gutter. We have to think of higher things and then go chase those things. Okay. So it sounds like you have a lot to achieve still, but yeah. when, when it's all said and done, it sounds like you have a lot to leave behind, which brings me to my next question. Um, what is what do you what is legacy to you? What do you feel like? Legacy to, for for me, yeah. personally, it's providing putting my children in a position to succeed. Personally, it's making sure that you, your brothers, your little sister, all have been put in a position where you can go chase your dreams without the same challenges that I had to face. Um, that that is one of my biggest fears is that you have to, that you guys will have to go through the same things I went through to get to a level of achievement. I don't want that. So me working and put you guys in a better position is legacy for me because then I know that you can run with your dreams and accomplish so much more than I've accomplished and it can, it continues in a cycle. Your children will do the same thing which will be my grandchildren and their children will do the same thing which will be my great grandchildren. Children I'll never meet. Children, you know, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren, children I'll never meet. I want to make sure that what I do here today affects them in a positive way. Yeah. Um, now, my legacy when it comes to ministry is for people to know he did what God asked him to do. He was he was genuine. He was a man. He made mistakes. He he um, he failed. He he got back up, and he was humbled and genuine about accomplishing God's work for work for his life. And that's that's what my legacy is. I want people to say he did what God asked him to do and he was genuine about it. It's not a it's not a fake thing. It's not something for attention. Um, I don't go, you know, the, the podcast is a platform to get a message out there, not for me to get famous. You know what I mean? I, I whatever whatever God has for me to do, whatever, however he sends me, that's what I want to do. And that's what I want to be known for. He was genuine. He was a servant and he did what God asked him to do. All right. Um, I think that was, uh, that was a great message, and this is something that's, that's really needed, this, this podcast. Um, and I know firsthand through growing up and learning through you from any mistakes you made or anything you've ever told me, I've always ran with it and understood what you were trying to tell me and listened. So you doing this podcast, I think, us doing this podcast, I think is uh, going to help a lot of people. And I know a lot of people with my age look up to you um, and Spreading this word and just giving free game like this is something that's going to really go a long way yeah. throughout, uh, over the course of time. So um, this is our first episode, guys, Dream of Witch Podcast. Uh, this is Terry Wilson. I'm Keyshawn Wilson, and we're just dreamers looking to become achievers also. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, follow us at Dream of Witch Podcast 82 on Instagram, and the YouTube is Dream of Witch Podcast. Thank you. For this.